Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 21st of April. I'm James Spann. Nice today. Some rain tomorrow, but no severe weather. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture. Water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. You see the shortwave trough over the southern plains. But today we'll be in pretty good shape. We're starting off the day mostly in the low 50s around here. Birmingham at 53. We'll expect a high today in the upper 70s. Some spots could see 80, especially over West Alabama. That's a watch warning, Matt. Relatively quiet around the nation this morning. Uh, some frost advisories up around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore and Philadelphia. Red flag warnings for parts of the High Plains states. And really, that's about it. But later today, there could be a few severe storms over parts of Texas. The standard slight risk is up for cities including Dallas, Fort Worth, and Waco. Uh, it's in effect all the way over to near Texarkana, Arkansas. But tomorrow... No risk. Could there be some thunder? Yes, but severe weather not expected here as the dynamic sport weakens. Then on day three, which is Wednesday, there is a risk of severe weather across the middle of the nation from West Texas up to parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska in advance of the next storm coming out of the Rockies. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. Not very much. Amounts of about a quarter to a half inch here, and the bulk of that will be tomorrow, although there could be a few showers at the end of the week on Friday. Let's walk you through the dailies with the model output. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. You can see troughing west of the state, and down below that will be dry. Highs today, upper 70s. Uh, clouds will gradually thicken during the day, but we'll still call it partly sunny. And again, the chance of showers and storms off to the west. Uh, the map tomorrow at 1 o'clock shows a surface low under 1,000 millibars on the uh, Canadian border of New England with a trailing cold front. You can see the support way, way north of here. But in advance of that surface boundary, there could be a few showers around. This is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning off the high res NAM. Uh, could be some thunder, but I don't think we'll see a lot. Uh, certainly no chance of any severe weather and rain not all that heavy. And then by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, the showers are down to the south and the weather stays mild. The high should be in the upper 70s. This is Wednesday. Should be a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine. Afternoon high around 80. Thursday looks good. We note a deep surface low is located uh, east of Minneapolis-St. Paul with a trailing front. That should not affect us on Thursday. Uh, low 80s are likely going to be a very warm day. And then Friday, that uh, trailing front just kind of sags in here with little upper air support, and it probably is going to stall out. But that could bring a few rain showers on Friday. Nothing heavy, uh, no washout. Just keep in mind a little rain, a possibility. And then this is Saturday as we kick off the weekend. You can see a very deep trough back in the western states. But around here, the surface boundary is parallel to the upper airflow. So it's probably going to wash out. But still, it's kind of draped across central Alabama. Noticeably colder air up north this weekend. Very chilly air for Chicago, Detroit, uh, Milwaukee, Minneapolis. Good north winds. Going to feel more like winter up there. But around here, looks like Saturday will be a mostly cloudy day with the potential for a few passing rain showers. Again, nothing heavy, no severe weather. Just keep that possibility in mind. And then Sunday, the front just basically washes out. I'd say only a small chance of a shower Sunday as the focus moves back to the west with that new surface low developing near Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, just under 1,000 millibars, and that could be setting up for a severe weather event uh, maybe down toward Oklahoma and North Texas late this weekend. And a week from today, troughing well to the west and down below that. Uh, looks like a batch of showers and storms will try and move in here. But again, there's no focus surface low. And uh, again, that doesn't look like a severe weather look. So uh, the good news, despite the fact that we are in late April, which we all know is a very active time for uh, severe weather here, it doesn't look like we have any severe weather threats, at least on a major basis for at least the next seven days. 
This is, uh, by the way, Tuesday, April 29th, Tuesday of next week. Week from tomorrow looks relatively wet. But again, that just looks like rain and no storms, or at least uh, no severe storms. We'll check the end of the forecast, the 6th of May, as the year 2014 rolls along. Uh, that's suggesting troughing over the northeast, a big storm uh, just west of San Francisco, and down below that, the weather here would be dry and warm and very nice. That happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.